Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio, and welcome back to your 15th Java programming tutorial. So, today we're going to be learning about logical operators. Um, it would have made more sense for me to do it when we were doing our if statements, but I guess I forgot to do it, and yeah, so I guess I'm going to be doing it now. Uh, and what logical operators are, they're used in conjunction with if statements. There's going to be two of them we're going to be learning about. It's going to be called the logical and and the logical or. They may be a little bit confusing, like any topic that we learn in programming for the first time, but if you guys practice a little bit after this tutorial, you guys will catch on to it. So, yeah, let's just make a little program now. First off, let's make um, a string, and we'll call it name, and set it to your name. Uh, yeah, set it to your name. I'm going to set it to Anthony, and uh, make an integer, uh, age, and we'll set it equal to 18. So, we're going to make an if statement that makes sure that your name is actually your name. So, wherever I'm using my name, sub in your name. So, it, m it might be just easier if you guys just put Anthony in there. It'll be a lot easier. So, yeah, just do that. Uh, and then you could just copy right from my code. So, let's make a little if statement here. And we're going to say, is name exact, or does name dot equals, sorry. We learned this, uh way back in the other tutorial name dot equals um, Anthony and now is the time to put in our logical operator so if we want to find out two things at the same time and uh, we want to make sure they're both true we use the double and sign so and age is exactly equal to 18 put down your curly braces <coughs> excuse me um, now we're going to print out just like a basic statement. Hi, Anthony, you are 18. Um, so yeah, basically that's all it's going to do. So let's run this program and I'll show you what it does. So as you can see, it says, hi, Anthony, you are 18. So this may look like a whole bunch of gibberish to you right now, but believe me, I'll clear it up right now. So basically what this is doing is it's saying, is name equal to Anthony? And of course it is, because up here, as you can see, we set name equal to Anthony. And then we have these two double and signs. So that if you hold shift and hit seven, seven, you get your double and signs. Um, it's basically saying, is name equal to Anthony and is age equal to 18? So in order for this program to run, um, we're gonna have to name is gonna have to equal Anthony and age is gonna have to equal to 18 so as you can see the output was uh, it, it worked because name is equal to Anthony and age is equal to 18 if we changed one of these values to like let's say age is equal to 15 and we ran it as you can see we don't get anything because the statement is broken <coughs> So yeah, that leads me into my next uh, logical operator, and this is the double, or the logical or. In order to use the logical or, um, you're going to have to hold shift and then hit the key underneath your backspace. I don't know what it's called, the backslash, but we're going to be using the double bar sign. I don't know what it's called. Just hit shift and then two times underneath the backspace, <coughs> and you get a double pipe sign or whatever. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to see is name equal to Anthony or is age equal to 15. So for this one, as long as one of these statements are true, it's going to print out, hi Anthony, you are 18. So as you can see, only Anthony, this part of the statement is true, and it still prints out, hi Anthony, you are 18. Even if both of them were true, <coughs> man, I think I'm coming down with the cold or something. Um, it still prints it out. So, unlike the double or the logical and, only one of the statements has to be true. And um, you could also use as many of these as you want. Uh, so, if we made another variable and we'll call it like int, uh, I don't know, height or something, and we set it equal to, I don't know, I don't know what's a height. Let's go 511. It's, I don't know. Uh, and we put another or sign. And we said height is exactly equal to 511. 
<clears throat> we could do that. We could put as many of these uh, statements in here as we want, as long as they're separated by either an or or an and. So we could use a mixture of ors and ands. And uh, yeah, so I don't want to make this too confusing, this tutorial. So you guys can mess around. If you guys are confident and you want to mess around some more with uh, different like amounts of statements in here and like combining ors and ands um go ahead like that's great it'll really help your knowledge so but i don't want to make this tutorial too long and too confusing so uh that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you guys next time